Wallace. When you hear the word cancer and something that will prevent it, you're like, I'm for it. Wallace. I was just normal, I was a normal kid. With Goddess Though, you could be one less. It was a hugely successful ad campaign that influenced millions of girls and their moms. But now some of the girls who got the vaccine are wondering whether they made the right choice. For 15-year-old Brandy Gonzalez and 20-year-old Holly Kaiser, the ordeal started with the first jab. I felt it go all throughout my body, almost like a burning. I felt it all throughout. It was a rush. She said, Mom, I feel funny. Then Holly blacked out. A few minutes later, surrounded by nurses, she came to. They explained to me, you know, you had a reaction to the shot. You became faint, but you're OK. For Brandy, there was no fainting, but something scary happened four hours after she got her second dose of the Gardasil vaccine. I couldn't. It was painful. She can breathe. She just couldn't. No, she couldn't take any air in. Brandy says after that, a seemingly endless chain of unfamiliar medical problems. I got nausea a lot. I got these bad headaches. I was always dizzy. Brandy was tested for seizure activity. They wanted to see if there was anything wrong with my brain. Holly also suffered from recurring dizzy spells. She verbalized to me that she had felt terrible since the first shot. Nonetheless, when it was time for the second Gardasil shot. I absolutely did pressure her. I thought I was saving her from cancer. Julie Kaiser is a registered nurse who's faced cervical cancer herself. She didn't associate the vaccine with Holly's complaints. If I knew then what I knew now, I'm sorry. There's no way that I would ever have exposed her to that. Four months after the second Gardasil shot, I had a grand mal seizure. Less than a month later, I had another one, and that's when they started putting me on medication. She also lost her driver's license. It was like I was 15 again. As for Brandy, she's now been diagnosed with chronic fatigue related to severe adverse medication reaction. Brandy's primary care doctor has reported the reaction to Gardasil maker Merck, but other doctors both girls have seen told them the vaccine was not to blame. I think it was the last time I was in the hospital, the guy was just totally not believing it and he said it couldn't possibly be it and I was like crying to him like what else could it be? Too many girls are experiencing the same thing, the same symptoms for it to be a coincidence. The FDA's vaccine adverse event reporting system has logged more than 10,000 reports of side effects following Gardasil shots. That includes at least 27 young women who've died following injection. On its website, Merck acknowledges the complaints, but says no safety issue related to the vaccine has been identified. The company's position echoes that of the Centers for Disease Control, which says studies have found no serious side effects. Doctors are not listening to their patients. But on the Internet, patients and their moms are talking to each other, taking notes and pressing for action. It needs to be investigated. As for the final shot in the series. No, I'm not getting it. No, I'm not getting the third. No way. Holly's seizures are now controlled with medication. She still deals with chronic fatigue she didn't have before. Brandy's breathing is better now, but like Holly, she still struggles with fatigue. Now there's Gardasil. Merck tells Fox 11 it closely monitors the safety of its products. The company emphasizes 30 million doses of the vaccine have been distributed worldwide, the vast majority generating no complaints at all. The CDC points out that many of the side effects reported could have been caused by something other than the vaccine. But for these girls and their moms, questions remain. They should do more research. Whoever invented it, there's something not right. I think physicians out there that are giving the vaccine need to call their patients and ask them what they've experienced since they got their first shot.